morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. I want you to notice that uh, the South African gold miners are going on strike the day after tomorrow. Um, in, on their own agenda, they want about a 14% uh, rise in uh, wages, and the big gold miners are offering between 7 and 9%. Now, this, of course, means that this is another threat to supply. Yesterday we talked about nationalization in South Africa. Uh, another threat to supply, obviously, is strikes, uh, and it, of course that will interrupt supply for some days. Uh, we think that gold will therefore be trading up in keeping with the fact that many people are now realizing that the serious danger <clears throat> to the United States economy is not really the downgrade, it's the problem that we're in and why we're not doing anything to solve that problem. We spend too much money. We've been at war for too long. The cause of that was the reduction, reduction in taxes and carry on wars overseas that were uh, very expensive. And this was done under the Republican regime. Now they want to pretend they had nothing to do with it. <clears throat> and we hope that more sophisticated uh, citizens are aware of the true story. Now we're going to talk about who who. <clears throat> I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that properly, but Huku is a system in the Chinese government uh, wherein you're classified as an urban or a rural dweller. Uh, many people have wondered whether or not why, excuse me, many people have wondered why uh, there are no gigantic slums, even more gigantic slums surrounding Beijing and Shanghai and those places where the money is. The answer is that in China you cannot move yourself. This is another example of the repression of the communist totalitarian state. You, there is no freedom of movement. So once you're classified as a rural person, you have no access to education, you have no access to health care, you cannot move yourself uh, to where the jobs are. So what this does is create a situation where the Chinese have a permanent underclass to supply them with food and other necessities. So the other subtext which has become clear to us of late is that um, the ruling class of China are called Han, H-A-N, Chinese. Uh, for historically, they oppress everybody else, and they're continuing to do that. So when you see political unrest in China, please keep in mind that <clears throat> two factors are racism, uh, which we're familiar with in other parts of the world, and uh, this underclass structure where rural people are systematically excluded from the goodies of the society. So this is Arnie Waters. Uh, keep in mind that gold is in a secular uptrend. It should be a great trading the next few days. Um, if you'd like specific investment ideas in uranium or rare earths, we've got some for today. Give us a shout. Thanks to you, uh, those of you who've been in touch. It's great learning about the people that we see that we, we, don't, we rarely get to meet. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. 781-380-8888. Have a great day.